Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today is going to be another town update. Now, I've started something that you guys have been asking about for a long time, and I've been dodging it a little bit. Now, bear in mind, it is not finished. I've made quite a bit of progress on it, though, so I'm really happy, and I figured it's time to go ahead and make another town update. Now, people ask a lot about these town updates and when they come out. They come out twice a week. I like to do these in pretty big groups. I don't like to just do little small updates and like spam you with episodes, so two episodes of this a week and then one additional scrap mechanic, at least I try to, uh, whether that be a viewer creation or maybe even some multiplayer, so I'm still trying to get that together for tomorrow, so hopefully I can get something fixed by then, but anyways, let's go ahead and see what I've been building. Now, you guys have been asking me a lot, and it, it appears everywhere, and I'm finally glad to be able to answer this. I have started the airport and I've made quite a bit of progress I'm really happy with what I've done here and I did get some help from Moombo I already knew somebody's gonna ask about the planes and they're gonna be like do they fly and yes they do I built the body had Moombo he came in there and helped me design it a little bit and then he uh, went in there and completely did the he taught me how he makes his planes fly and he's just a complete genius with these things uh, it's really cool the way he works his planes, but I'll go over that here in a second. You can see the big long runway here. Got that. You've got a big control tower. And we've got one hangar so far. Now, I'm going to need some help from you guys. I need some suggestions uh, for planes, for helicopters possibly, for I need airport vehicles, maybe some airport buildings. So keep pouring in those suggestions. I also want to put a fence around this, and I think I'm going to start on that outside, but... Anyways, before we get to the exciting stuff, let's go over the boring stuff. Let's go ahead and go into the tower. Now, the tower is not 100% complete yet. It's pretty hollow right now, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you anyways. And you can see our big spiral staircase. Like, I guess I could have put an elevator in here, but I like the stairs, so let's go ahead and go all the way up here. Okay, this is the first room of the control tower. This one's empty right now. I've been looking at a lot of pictures of control towers and how they work and kind of the setup inside of them. And this one's empty. There's actually another uh, top part up here. And we're really high off the ground here. So here's the big main control room area. Now, from the looks of it, it looks like there's a lot of radios, uh, monitors, and just tons of different things up here. So I need to figure out, I need to probably place some more monitors to spread them out, maybe in the corners here. Got plenty of seats. You can see out pretty good. This glass, of course, is not really clear. Could do the Grego glass, but I don't like to use mods, so we're gonna have to deal with the tile glass. But yeah, you can see the runway. The runway's fairly long. This was the biggest area I could find. Uh, at the end of the runway, there is a huge rock, so that's where I had to stop, but I feel like it's plenty long. I'll, I'll go down it once we uh, take off in one of the planes. But yeah, you've got plenty of area you can see, and oh, I'm stuck, what's going on here? There we go. Kind of got wedged between those two seats and it went crazy. But yeah, you can see the hangar. Now I'm thinking of maybe putting a hangar here in the back or maybe another building. I need to find a way to get the road from the town to this airport. So that's going to be a little tricky to do considering the terrain is a, uh, it's not, not that great. Uh, I think maybe I can swing it around the back part, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. You no, know, we don't need these stairs. Let's just go ahead and jump down. There we go. But yeah, that's still a work in progress. I hope to finish that by the next episode. I don't know how many parts this airport's going to be in. Because this is a massive undertaking. Like, this so far, I've already spent probably about 8 hours in right now. And a lot of it was to do with that tower. It's kind of hard to design these towers, or at least, like, go up there and build really high. So I had to... Actually, I think I downloaded a lift off the Steam Workshop. I need to figure out which one I downloaded. I'd like to actually link it, because it actually helped me a lot to get up to the top. But anyways, uh, there's a lot of empty land over there to this side, and I'm going to do something with that. I'm not sure. I know I need a road that's going to wrap from the town and come up this way, and maybe we'll make like a security gate for the airport, but anyways, enough of that. Let's get to the good stuff. Now, there's a couple helipads over here to the right, and I've got my helicopter up there. It still doesn't fly, and I think I've actually figured out, after talking with Moonbow a little bit, I think really what's causing it to be so unstable is actually the rotor on top. It's connected to an electric motor and I'll actually explain because I had the same issue with the Cessnas over there. 
but uh, I'm gonna work on this that way we can get a flying helicopter because that's just awesome and so you can see that uh, this is actually a believe pretty much the same helipad that's on the hospital and I've got another one over here so anyways I think maybe we could spread out some more buildings I know I probably need another runway like this isn't a big international airport this is more like just a small town airport so maybe I can get away with the one runway because be honest with you there's not that much room like I could put it over there but I kind of want to do something else on that side but oh and for those are if you're curious where the actual town is it's way over there you can somewhat see it it's probably not gonna be very clear on the uh, video here but I'll actually fly over it here in a second but yeah, let's go ahead and get introduced with our vehicles here. This is a little tow vehicle. Now, I don't think... Well, actually, I'm pretty sure these little airports don't... They might not have these. I know these little Cessnas, they just drive out of the hangars. I don't think you would need one of these, but I really just wanted to have one. So, you can go up. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take the Cessna, for example. And I don't know if that's the right Cessna. Yeah, I think it is. You know, normally the blade is actually turned the other way, and for some reason it's set up like that. I don't know why. So, I mean, realistically, I guess we can grab it by the blade, which is not realistic at all. Uh, I have the blade on a controller. Normally I have it set to the side. That way this little claw here in the back can actually reach the front landing gear. And you would click the one key and it closes. And it'll close it in there and you can actually drive the, the uh, airplane out. Now, it looks a little strange because I'm grabbing it by the propeller but I'm gonna reset these controllers where the propellers out of the way and you can actually grab the landing gear but yeah this actually works you can come out here and tow out taxi it out to the uh, runway here really pretty cool just something that I wanted to do a uh, real simple vehicle I'll probably still stick it on the workshop that way if you want to build your own uh, airport because I know a lot of people are complaining that they cannot run this world so I'll stick all these vehicles on here but Anyways, here's the, uh, nothing much as far as the, uh, spider web goes. Just the little claw in the back. The hood opens up if you need to mess with the motor in there, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and get this off the runway and clear it out for the main attraction, the Cessna. Now, like I said, Boombo came in here and he just taught me how, you know, everything works here. Like, I had the, probably just this little main part of the body built. And I made sure, like, I left plenty of room down there because this thing is actually stuffed with thrusters. And one thing you're probably noticing is the whole fact that it's bouncing. Uh, this thing, a lot of these Cessnas have the landing gear and all that in the front. And to balance this plane out, we had to kind of keep it pretty even. So it, it tended to, like, it would tip over to the back. So he's got a sensor back there. Moonbo did this. He put a sensor... And I've got the uh, thrusters where you can't see them actually going, but they're actually like just keeping it balanced. That way it stays up on the landing gear. You can actually turn them off. I think the uh, airplane over there actually has its off. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop in. I guess we can look at the uh, spider web real quick. Uh, everything in Scrap Mechanic has to fly like a rocket. Like this doesn't fly like an airplane. Like it somewhat does uh, once you look at where the thrusters are going, but it's the whole fact that you just have to use these thrusters, which is kind of a shame, but... Still, this plane flies really good. Uh, Moombo, he balanced it out really good in the world. I had to go back. Once you change worlds, sometimes stuff gets changed. Like when you get a different FPS, the thrusters act differently. So I had to go back in here and rebalance them. And I had to turn the... Uh, I was talking about the propeller earlier. The propeller was actually throwing the plane off when it was on a motor. So I, had to, I turned it over to a controller and everything seems to be a lot better now. So... Go ahead and turn that on. That's all set up there. I hope that's setting on that controller. Is this the right? I had several versions of this plane. I really hope I've got the right one. I can't really see it there. We're just going to hope for the best. Actually, yep, yeah, there it is. There's that controller. So, well, before we take off, I better go ahead and back it up and get it in position here. All right, I repositioned the plane. I didn't want to start halfway down the runway. I want this to look somewhat realistic. So, let's go ahead and close the doors. Uh, the Rotor is on a controller. It doesn't spin very fast. When I did have it going fast, it was having issues and it threw the balance completely off. So, unfortunately, it doesn't actually look like it's going the, at the rate it should be, but just kind of there for looks. Yeah, here's the uh, inside. You can fit four people in here. Kind of nice and cozy in here. You got a lot of controllers, well, a lot of buttons. So, it can take a little bit to learn, but it's not so bad once you get used to it. 
Anyways, let's go ahead and take off here. Now you click the two key to start going forward and the one key to lift up here. And you'll see it just take off. Now this Cessna does not have retractable landing gear. Uh, most of them don't from what I've seen, so mine doesn't. But the uh, three and four keys will pitch it and the A and D will somewhat turn it, but you need to kind of pitch along while you're turning. And let me go ahead and spam the one key. You spam the one key a little bit to keep yourself balanced, like you, to keep yourself from going all the way up to the skybox. I'm gonna actually try to lower myself here. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna need to, oh, I think I might have let off just a little too long there. That's, that's gonna hurt me. Let me go ahead and tip the nose forward here. Now, I've been playing with how fast I want this plane. I've got these thrusters aiming forward under the wings. I could probably add some more speed to it, but I'm gonna kind of not at the moment because I want it to fly good. I mean, it's just not fast, but I mean, it's a Cessna. We're not supposed to be going fast. We're supposed to be just kind of cruising along here. So let me tilt forward here and I'd like to get really low. I'm gonna come around and you can somewhat see the town here, but it's really far away. I'm gonna lower ourselves and I'm gonna come sweeping by. That way you can get a better view of it, but it's actually really neat once you see it from the sky because it just puts the whole town in a new perspective. It's like, wow, this thing is really big. I mean, realistically, this has been a several month project. So yeah, let me go ahead and lower ourselves here. And I might actually go kick up the speed on these because I feel like we could be just a wee bit faster here. So let's lower ourselves. I'm gonna pitch the nose forward here. Should pick up a little bit of speed. And we're gonna do that and let's go ahead and try to get a view of the town here. All right, we are coming in for a pass over the town. Now, <laughs> there's a lot of trees over here, so this is gonna be a little hard to give you a great view. Hopefully I can turn it here. I'm not the best pilot. Let's go ahead, let's get ourselves even with the town and let's tilt our, we're gonna need to tilt our nose back. Sometimes this thing gets going to the back a little too much. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and dip down here and I'll give you Pretty close up of the town here. See the hospital, construction site, the apartments. Uh, some of these roofs are actually painted wrong. I need to go back and correct those. We've got the bank. There's the football field, the junkyard. Man, there's a lot to this town. We need. We still have a lot of room here, though. Look at all the land we have to add. Definitely got a lot of potential here. But there's that. Now, like I said, you might have to adjust this to your world. Uh, you're probably going to get a different FPS than I am, so if you want to fly this thing around, you know, it's all about adjusting until they go into the new engine or whatever they're going to do, because right now it's pretty bad. Uh, everybody has issues when you're with these flying creations when you move them to other worlds, so hopefully that gets fixed too. I think they said something about a new engine coming in August, possibly? So that's gonna help a lot. And that'll help with this town because I'm getting a little bit of lag now in the town, uh, especially right around the town center. And Wow, this looks really weird up here. It's like not everything's loading. You can somewhat see the outline of the airport because of all the stuff and, oh, got the nose pointed up too high here. Let's go ahead and shift that back down. Try to get everything going again. There we go. Try to tilt that. I'm doing a little bit of keyboard dancing, so if, I, I, if I'm quiet here, it's because I'm trying to focus, because this takes all of my focus to do. Now the question is, can I land it? That's, that's a really good question. We're actually, we're losing altitude here. I'm starting to lower us, but I'm gonna need to angle this different if I wanna get anywhere as close to that airstrip. And I don't know if, you know, you don't have much run up to it on that side, so you might have to come from this side. So let's do that, see if we can get it going. Um, oh, also there's the watchtower if you're wondering where that was. There's that, I mean, look at all the land that we still have. So there's a lot of possibilities here. So keep suggesting all those awesome suggestions and I'll try to get around to what I can. But yeah, let's go ahead. I think I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna turn around up here and then we'll come in and try to actually land this thing. And it's gonna be a miracle if I land it, but you know, we're gonna try it anyways. Okay, here we come in to the runway. It took me a turn. It actually took me two turns to try to line this up, and I think oh, I'm gonna be off here. Come on, come on, let's go ahead and start dipping. We need to go ahead and do that. Let's push forward. Start to dip a little more, a little more. There we go, there we go. Turn, turn, don't go off. 
There we go. That was actually oh, I just hopped out of it. Oh great. Oh no, this is gonna be bad. <laughs> Yeah, that's what happens when I keyboard dance. Actually, it might go park itself in the hangar here. Nope. No, oh, actually, I'm going to have to get in front of it here. But yeah, I landed. I just didn't do anything beyond that. But yeah, if you want it to, this thing is fairly maneuverable on the ground. All the bearings are free, so it rolls wherever you want it to. And this front bearing actually doesn't turn, but it doesn't need to because Moombo angled some the thruster is like on the sides so it just kind of skips over and it it'll turn very easy but yeah that's there that should be it let's go ahead and pull it into the hangar here and we're gonna call it a day here but yeah keep giving me those suggestions I want to see what else we can do with this airport and I still need to change that because we're gonna grab it by the rotor again but let's go ahead and line it up close it up there we go now, you see this other Cessna in here. I just started painting another one. This is exactly the same, so don't worry about, like, I'm not going to show it. I mean, it's just literally the paint job's different. But I'm pretty happy. This will be up on the workshop, and I did a terrible parking job here. Probably should have let the plane do this. <laughs> Actually, I probably should have backed it in, but, oh, well, we'll just drop it there. Call it a day. But, uh, yeah, that's going to about do it for this episode today, guys. And if you want to download, like I said, it's all on the workshop. If you want to download the map, it's here. I know it's a little hard to run, but it's still awesome. So, yeah. Anyways, like I said, tomorrow, hopefully I can get something to get together on Scrap Mechanic, whether it be a viewer creation or whether it be a multiplayer session. I'm trying to get some things together. If not, I've got other games that I can play, so hopefully come join us for those. Uh, those have all been doing really good. I've got my totally accurate battle simulator. I'm not really doing a series on that. I'm just doing a couple one-off episodes. I've got my poly bridge. And then I've got a couple other games that I'm going to bring into the channel here soon. So join us for that. But the next town update should be on Tuesday. Uh, maybe Monday if I get some stuff done over this weekend. But it depends on how much I get done. I, like, I typically like to have pretty big updates. As you can see all this stuff today. So... Anyways, that's going to wrap it up. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.